Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well and safe. Today I am excited to share this formula with you. An anti-aging moisturizing face and neck serum with 10% niacinamide, alantoin, and urea. Here is a list of the ingredients used in this formula. If you wish to know how to convert this formula from percentages to grams, Please watch my previous video where I show you how you can change percentages to grams and grams to percentages. I will leave the link to the video in the description box below. Here I have my beaker set up to mix in the ingredients. I pour the distilled water into the beaker. Then I add my deep panthenol to the water and mix till it dissolves. As you can see, I am using the powdered form of D panthenol, but you can also use the liquid panthenol if that is what you prefer. D panthenol has an anti inflammatory effect on the skin. When used in formulations over a period of three to four weeks, it has the potential to improve the appearance of the skin, including dryness, roughness, scaling, severe itching, and redness of the skin. When the deep panthenol has dissolved, I add in the niacinamide and also mix till it dissolves. Niacinamide, a form of vitamin B3 known to improve skin tone, also helps to balance oil production, fight blemishes, and soothe redness associated with acne. It also helps to hydrate the skin while improving on even and dull skin tones. Some amazing facts about niacinamide are It is highly effective and it is a well-researched skincare active ingredient with numerous benefits. After mixing in the niacinamide, I add the alantoin and mix till it dissolves. Alantoin is known for its ability to soothe irritated skin, promote the healing of wounds and increase the skin's moisture levels. It can also help to reduce the appearance of acne scars and hyperpigmentation. The next ingredient I add is the urea. Urea is known for its amazing moisturizing abilities. It helps to increase the skin's water content, making it look plumper. Alantoin and urea are commonly used in skincare products due to their beneficial properties. Alantoin is a natural compound found in plants, while urea is a naturally occurring substance in the body. Although both ingredients have moisturizing properties, alantoin is more commonly used in skincare products for its soothing and moisturizing properties. Urea, on the other hand, is mainly used for its moisturizing properties. Alantoin is known for its ability to promote cell regeneration and improve the skin texture, while urea breaks down dead skin cells and improves skin hydration. Both ingredients are often used in skincare products due to their ability to improve the appearance of the skin. The next ingredient I add is the preservative, and I use Liquid Gemal Plus as my preservative. You can of course use any preservative of your choice. Just make sure it is compatible with all the ingredients used in this formula. Liquid Gemal Plus helps to protect our formulations from bacteria, yeast, and fungi. And it is very effective over a wide pH range of 3 to 8. After you have mixed in the preservative, take the vegetable glycerin, add the hyaluronic acid to the glycerin, and mix until they blend well. I decided to use the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid in this formula for its anti-aging benefits, for its moisturizing benefits, and also as a gelling agent, as it will help to give the serum a gel-like structure. When the vegetable glycerin and the hyaluronic acid mixture are well blended, add the mixture to the rest of the ingredients in the beaker and mix well. After mixing for about two minutes, I cover the beaker with aluminum foil and set aside for about 5 hours to allow the hyaluronic acid to fully dissolve. After 5 hours, this is what my serum looks like. 
a hyaluronic acid has dissolved. I mix it for some seconds. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant that attracts and retains moisture to the skin. Just one molecule of hyaluronic acid can hold up to 1000 times its own weight in water. The next step is to test the pH value of the serum. If you want to have an accurate pH result, please make sure to use a digital pH meter. As I do not have a digital pH meter as yet, I use a pH test strip to measure the pH value. As you can see, the pH value is around 6.5. I will lower it to 5.5 by adding citric acid to the serum. After adding in the citric acid, mix until it dissolves. There are many conflicting reports about the right pH of niacinamide in a formulation. For me personally, it works at a pH of between 5 and 6. After mixing in the citric acid, I will test the pH value again. We have lowered the pH value from 6 to around 5.5, which is perfect. Can you notice the difference on both pH test strips? After I adjust the pH value, I pour the moisturizing anti-aging serum into a clean sterilized serum container and seal it airtight. This serum should be stored at room temperature away from direct sunlight. To determine the shelf life of a product, a stability test is required. However, a DIY method to determine the shelf life of a product is to check the shelf life of all the ingredients used in the formulation. And the ingredients with the least shelf life determines the shelf life of the product. This face and neck serum with 10% niacinamide, allantoin, urea, D-pantenol, and hyaluronic acid is ideal for all skin types and colors. It revitalizes tired and dull skin, smooths the skin, reduces wrinkles, dry out acne, clears blemishes, even skin tone, and keeps the skin moisturized at all times. After application on the face and the neck area, allow it to fully absorb into the skin, and then apply your moisturizer as needed. Guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to give it a like, leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye and God bless you.